What are you doing, bro? Huh? You old lazy dogs, get out of here, dude. You old skeezer. Yeah, you big old skeezers, get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, buddy. We got this thing back from sandblasting, you guys. We actually had the bottom of this car sandblasted because we're going to coat the thing underneath. Bro, get down, dude. Get off of me. But we're going to coat this thing up underneath. We're going to rhino line the bottom of this thing. Bro, you guys are killing me, smalls get out of here but we're gonna right align this thing bro get out and i wasn't gonna make this video you guys but we might as well talk about this because it's the elephant in the room as a matter of fact somebody mentioned it or asked a question about it in the last video when we removed the frame and we did have an issue with one of the body mounts and that's what this video is about today is body mount removing if it's just spinning the bolt spinning and it actually looks like this car already at once in its lifetime had an issue with it check this out like your guys' body mount might do that you hear that thing just spinning so from the looks of it whoever used to own this car back in the day probably had the same issue and look at what they did they cut off the nut or the the stud i should say or whatever the head of the bolt and then they welded another stud to it and then they just left it and then put another threaded nut over this it was kind of silly but they did that and you can hear it just spin so purpose of this video is we're going to talk about how to fix that and there's no really easy fix you guys um we're gonna have to start cutting and welding really that's what it's about nothing nothing really exciting or fun about this so in this case this is actually probably the easiest location you're going to end up doing this now if you end up with an issue like for example towards the front of the car or anywhere else body mounts are at you're going to end up having to cut either into the floor or to the side of the rocker wherever that thing is located at but for us in this case it is located in the back and this is pretty simple straightforward now you think you can get it through the trunk you cannot it's, it's it's a little small little pocket in this thing that where that nut sits at and basically the welds on the nut is broken so we're gonna end up having to cut a little square right here you guys cut a square out so we can get to that nut and we so we can get to the nut and re-weld that thing so it doesn't spin anymore so we don't have this issue so let's go ahead and get started we'll we'll start cutting all the thing i'll be using today is a little cutoff tool nothing too crazy you guys that guy there um if you got a grinder with the cutoff wheel that'll work too and then that guy there to just kind of grind some of that stuff out of the way so we can weld it back tack it back together a ruler just to make some lines but let's get started no more locked doors well there it is you guys I ended up just notching this one kind of scoring this one because it actually stayed in place we didn't cut it all the way through so we can probably flap this back and then weld everything back together but you can see the damage baby that thing is just spinning now if you look closely obviously this little clamshell kind of holds that nut together right and obviously over the years it just kind of moved away from it so we might be able to just tap it back in place and not do anything else after that but we do got to get the bolt out first um so what i'm going to do is going to soak this thing up if you got some pb blaster i would say hit it with pb blaster but i'm just going to soak it with some wd-40 because that's all we got right now we're gonna go ahead and just kind of tap it back in place hit it down so let's see if we can get it to go back to where it used to live at and see if we can get it to hug that nut again whoa baby that's what she said all right now that we i think we got that nut to where it's not going to move we went and hit that bracket down so that way it holds the nut that's right baby and then we got our vise and we're gonna see if we can spin this bolt out of there hopefully 
that WD helped some of that rust out of there. There it goes. Let's try this again. See if we can get this thing to bite. See if we can turn this bolt out of there with not too much effort, hopefully. Yeah, this thing's going to be hard to break loose. Yeah, see, it just... It didn't work. It just broke loose. It just broke free out of the pocket again because that bolt is just seized in there, you guys. That thing is clapped, baby. Mmm, that ain't good. All right, let's see. I think we're going to try some heat. Okay, so I went ahead and pried this little clamshell up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use my other vice grips and hold the nut. You can see it spinning in there. Hold that nut while I turn on the bottom side and see if we can get that thing to come out of there. Minutes later. Oh. oh no! Yep. That thing is in there, man. Oh lord. Well, there's not much else you guys can do because that thing is broken you're just gonna have to pry that clamp out of the way and get this thing out of there and either replace this thing or put it on the vise and see if you can break it loose but that's what we call the old full send right there more moments later Oh, baby. I didn't think that was going to come out, you guys. Oh, man. Yeah, you can see the rust in this thing. Big time. So we got our new bolt, and you guys want to make sure you guys check the size on this thing. Every car is, might be a little, slight little bit different, but this is a Chevelle. This is a 7 16 by 14. So we got our tap, our matching tap. We know that's going to be the correct bolt. That's the new hardware. A little lube real quick. That's what she said, huh? And then just full send, fellas, full send that thing all up in there. Get all up in there, deep like, and make sure this thing is clean, clean, because these threads are gonna go, this thing's gonna go back inside the car. If I can get this thing to tighten up, see? Clean those threads up. And what I'm gonna end up doing, once we put, before I should say we put the body, the body back on the car, we'll clean all the threads out on all the rest of them as well, so that everything is nice and smooth, nice and easy. Oh yeah, like butter, baby. So we'll put this back in there, you guys. We'll we'll hit that clamp back in place, and then we're gonna end up throwing a few tack welds next to it so that way it also helps keeping it in there so it doesn't move for sure you guys see me oh yeah guys what is up welcome back to the channel totally forgot to do the intro you guys but we're back at the car uh, we're off the vice and you can see we got this thing kind of back to where it's going to live out again now I got it set there. I did try to grind off as much as we can in there just to throw a couple little tack welds. We use this little wire brush, nothing too crazy. Even a little guy there. But you can also, if you really want to, you can probably put a tack on this side here. I did kind of clean it up over here. But we're gonna put our clamp here and then we'll throw a few tacks in here just to make sure it doesn't move. And then we'll smash that clamp back in place so it doesn't move for sure. Kind of hard to record you guys and weld at the same time but what i ended up doing is actually drilled two small little holes right there just to basically tack weld it from this side up because it was a little hard probably next time we want to cut a little lower down so we can actually get our welder in there 
but that seemed to be working pretty good right there i think they ain't gonna move there so all we gotta do is flap that cover back over and smash it down make sure it's all the way down and smashed good and nice and neat that way it doesn't uh move whatsoever and then you can flap this over but before you do that i like to use this stuff right here a little weld through primer um you can still weld over it but also help keep that rust and protect this area right in here before you close this thing up because we already know moisture and everything else is going to get in there so check that stuff out it's pretty good i'll try to put a link down in the description below for that stuff all right we got that thing smashed back down that little clamp so that we get a better look you guys smashed back then got a little well through primer on it and everything so it shouldn't rust now we should be able to close this door and then weld this shut we're gonna have to grind this up a little bit so we can have something to stick our tacks to now this is super thin you guys just tack tack tackaroo baby for the record i never said i was a welder y'all but it's in there it's tacked in like i said it's thin sheet metal don't get crazy i just tacked it in but we'll go back we'll grind all that out you won't even see it you won't even know if it was there but this should work it should come right out easy squeezy and like i said once you coat the underneath of this body you're gonna get some more crap in there so go back in there with your tap clean that back out and you should be good to go but that's kind of how i go about trying to fix these body mounts uh nuts because it's it's a pain in the ass especially when that thing just spins hopefully this information helps you guys out as a matter of fact i'd love to hear if you guys done it a different way I'd love to know how you guys go about it um always open for suggestions ideas and all that stuff but guys if you guys are watching hope you guys are subscribed and hit the like button and hit the bell for notifications you guys already know stay wrenching